Tonight, we're learning more about Tom Chase. The 92-year-old died two days ago when three teens in a stolen car crashed into Chase's car on East Avenue and Elmwood Avenue. It's the first time an uninvolved person was killed in a stolen car crash in the Rochester area. Tonight, News 10 NBC's Marsha Augustin spoke to a friend of Chase. She joins us live now at the scene of the crash in Brighton. Marsha? That's right, Emily. This right here is the scene of the crash where this horrific crash happened and the tragic death of Tom Chase happened as well. Now, his friend Carl Laporta tells me that he became friends with Tom Chase after many years of tuning his piano since the early 2000s. And although he hasn't spoken to him in several years, he says that this is an emotional time for him after learning of Tom's death. Tom loved to play the piano. He played it during concerts for residents at the Friendly Home in Brighton. Again, it's something he loved to do. He graduated from the Eastman School of Music in 1954 and went on to become a piano teacher at Henderson State University in Arkansas. Laporta says Tom was a soft-spoken, wonderful, warm, loving person and a great pianist. He was very giving and a humble man. Even at Tom was very active and volunteered in the community. Laporta says the evening after the tragedy, he and his wife were heading home and got off the expressway on Linden Avenue. They noticed the street was blocked off going toward East Avenue. He learned there was a horrific crash and a man was killed. He never imagined that man was his friend, Tom. It wasn't until the next uh, morning that I knew it was Tom. And uh, I was just, I was shocked, um, very saddened. It, you know, I was saddened and upset at the same time. Um, you know, it's something that should have never happened. And, um, you know, unfortunately, um, he didn't get to live out the rest of his life. And Emily, police say the driver of that stolen Kia has 12 previous arrests and he was on parole. Laporta says that New York needs to have stricter criminal laws and that it's for the safety of everyone involved. Reporting from Brighton, Marsha Augustin, News 10, NBC. This is so devastating, Marsha. Thank you. Do you know if funeral arrangements have been announced yet for Mr. Chase? Emily, it's still something we are working to learn, and we will bring it to everyone at whec.com and on air. All right, Marsha, thank you.